in a few sentences, how has that changed what you either decree or how you send or if you send angels or how do you pray for them? How, how do you then use the angels? You know? Well, excellent. In fact, let me give you a little back. I'll give you a little story. Okay, good. Uh, that kind of uh, goes right into that. So what happened after I had that prophetic dream, I began to really just seek the Lord about, you know, the angelic realm. And so uh, shortly thereafter, I had a dream. It was in May. So that was in April. In May of 2018, I had this dream. And in the dream, I was driving along a road and there was a book truck uh, driving next to me. And the book truck, on the book truck, it said Charles Capps book truck. And uh, honestly, true story, I never, I didn't know who Charles Capps was. I oh, you did. Oh, you didn't. That adds to the credibility of the word, doesn't it? When you don't know I, the name. I really had no idea. So in the dream, I reached over uh, and I it, somehow I was able to, while I'm driving, reach over into Charles Capps book truck and I stole a bunch of books out of his truck. <laughs> and I don't know why I did that, but I did. And I reached over, took them. I drove them. For some reason, I knew that the book truck was going to a library to drop them off. But I thought, well, I'll just do it instead. So I took all the books from Charles Capps' uh, book truck to the library. And the librarian standing there said, here, because I tried giving them to her. And she says, here, you will need these. And there was a couple books, but on top, there was a book that um, was from Charles Capps. I didn't know the title, but I knew it had to do with angels. So I woke up from that dream and I pondered it. I said, Charles Capps. And then I thought, angels, what's going on here? So that morning, this is crazy. That morning, I walk over to my bookshelf and on top of my bookshelf, there was a book laying there, just sitting there on the shelf. I had never ordered it, ordered it. I'd never purchased it. No one had ever given it to me. I'd never seen it before. And it was sitting on my bookshelf. And it said, the title of it was Angels, Knowing Their Purpose, Releasing Their Power by Charles Capps. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. I had heard of Char Charles Capps years and years ago, but not in that vein. I'd heard him about, you know, being careful with your words. So I may want to get a hold of that one myself. So that people can actually order that uh, if they want to, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, in fact, I, I think it's a really good basic uh, understanding of how the angels respond to, um, you know, human uh, voice commands, uh, because in the scripture in Psalm 103, in fact, I'll read it to you real quick. Yeah. Psalm 103, 20, it says, bless the Lord, you, his angels who excel in strength, who do his word, they heed the voice of his word. And so that was really eye opening to me, I guess, you know, having grown up in the church, I guess I didn't understand that the angelic realm is listening their heat they're they're listening for the voice the sound of god's word and god began to show me hey the word of the lord in his mouth has the same authority as it does in our mouth wow so when we begin to release the word of the lord the voice of his word the angels respond they're looking for it they're listening for it so that was eye-opening and that book was very helpful and I definitely recommend people, if you have not read that or are familiar. Yeah, and I mean, this is, you know, I don't hear that kind of a story very often where, where something that has no right to be there has been placed there by angels. They cl clearly went and got that book and yes. put it there. Um, that is amazing to me. They didn't have to go get it. They could have just created it on the spot, I suppose, or, I don't know, flew it through the air. But but in other words, when God does that, he's this is not, oh, that, that was sweet. This was a... This is like a shout that that book and what it had to say was very important for this day and age. Wow. Absolutely. And here, and just to kind of add to that a little bit is that, you know, I, I believe God was building a, a story. He was adding some context and saying, Andrew, I just told you, you know, a month prior in two, uh, April, 2018, that it was very important for the body of Christ to learn how to employ their angels. And here's a book 
that's going to give you some some you know real ammunition to understand it some insight some biblical you know context for it and um really what i feel like god was saying is i'm going to teach the body of christ how to engage in warfare on a whole nother level so that they're not you know beating the air aimlessly but what they target what they pray into what they declare and decree begins to activate armies of angels wow and so this is what i feel like god is training us to do in these days because there's an urgent need for it so good so good